Hello everyone, Raza here. In Canvas Power Apps, we now have an option for code view where we can view the code behind our app's functionality. This code is YAML code. We can copy and paste this code to create new controls either in the same app or across different apps. This enables code reusability, plus gives us the power to create apps with code. And if we add the power of AI to this, we can ask AI to create YAML code for us. In short, AI will build Power App screens. So let's check it out in action. Power Apps is the low code development platform that allows us to build custom apps for our business needs. And using Power Apps, we can quickly connect to our business data by using the connector ecosystem. With Canvas Apps, we get the PowerPoint like drag and drop experience to add controls to our screen. And quickly, I was able to build a screen to showcase my data in the Power App. Now, we also have a new option that allows us to view the code of a Canvas app in Power App Studio. App makers can select controls and use code view to see the app's underlying code to better understand the app's functionality. We can also copy to share and paste the code to create new controls. The code view language is YAML code. Currently, we are looking at the code for the image control that I added to my Power App. Here is the code for my header control. We also have the option to select multiple controls in a screen by holding the control key or simply select the screen control A to select all the controls on the screen. And in one go, we can go and copy the code. Now the code that I've copied, I can paste it in the same screen or in a different screen or in a completely different Power App. The controls are copied over. I'm receiving errors because I do not have my data source linked in this app. But once I link it, you can see how I was able to bring the controls in my screen and reuse the code. Now let's see how we can use this code view functionality to create reusable code or screens. Here I have an app that has a container control that has subcontrols that performs certain calculations. It gives output around profit and loss based on the values provided in these controls. And this functionality is what I would like to replicate in a different app. So I can select this container, head over to copy, copy code, lead over to a different app. Here's a new screen. I'll go and paste that code. And just like that, I have that same functionality available over here. I have the screen that uses a gallery control. I have styled this gallery to visualize the data. Now, if I would like to explore the code in this gallery, I can click view code and it will list out the details of the code of this gallery, including the child controls and more. Let's say I would like to share this code with a user, James, who is building his own power app and would like to reuse this gallery style. Right click the gallery, copy code view. And I can simply share the code with James directly through Teams. I'll format the message. One of the options is code block. The format is YAML, so I'll pick YAML. I'll paste the code that I copied, send it over to James. 
Now this gallery of mine is connected to this SharePoint list called projects. So I'll just let James know that make sure to connect to this list if you want to replicate that gallery. James gets the message from Reza that includes the entire YAML code. James can simply copy this, go to his app. James has made the connection to that SharePoint list. Right click screen, paste, paste the code. And there is that same gallery design in James's app, reusability of code in action. To learn more about the PowerFX YAML syntax, we have good documentation available for this. All expressions must begin with a leading equal to sign. Single line formulas are written in the specific format. Multi line are written in the space format. And so and so forth. So by learning YAML, or simply view the code of your existing components in your Power App, copy and paste, we can get a lot of work done. I am new to this language and I would like to build a brand new screen using the YAML syntax. How about we share this information with ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to build us screens? I am signed in to chat GPT. Now, first thing I would like to give it some context around the YAML language. Here is the documentation for the YAML syntax. I will right click and save this page. Here I can upload files from my computer. I'll go ahead and upload that HTML file. ChatGPT has got the context. Now, how about I ask ChatGPT to go build me a screen with controls? For example, I would like to add a label and a text input control to intake username. Give me the YAML code. And ChatGPT has gone ahead and done that. Now, if I try copying this code, head back to Power App Studio and try paste the code. It's gone ahead and resulted in an error. That's because the syntax is not accurate in this case. So one of the things that I can quickly do, give it an example. Here I have a screen that has certain set of controls. If I just view the code, this is the format of the YAML syntax. I can just copy this, go back to chat GPT. And I'll just paste that sample code here for reference. It starts understanding the exact format that it expects. In this case, ChatGPT is trying to also add the existing controls. I'll be more specific and just ask it to give me the label control and the text input control. That's the code that I can copy. Head over to my Power App and paste. ChatGPT was able to create this code for me. Of course, a pretty simple scenario an event registration form now let's try that with chat gpt go add me controls for name email phone number and more chat gpt gives me the yaml code let's copy let's try and paste that right here So I simply needed to start from this point, which is username label. That's why understanding and learning about the YAML syntax is important. And you can treat ChatGPT as your co-pilot, wherein you and AI are working together. So I got the code, I'll copy. I'll go ahead and paste this. And just like that, it's added controls that allows me to enter the name, email and the phone number. Let's add more to this. Add fields for date and event type. I'll go ahead and copy the code. Since I'll be pasting the same controls again, I'll just select them all and delete. Now I'll go ahead and paste my code. 
Now I have fields for date and event type. How about we add validations? Add required field validations for all the controls. And AI goes about updating the YAML. I'll copy this code and go and paste it. Notice there are errors. For this input control, it tried self.text. It should have been self.value. That's because this is a modern text input control and not the classic control. I'll ask chat GPT to go ahead and update the YAML. Copy. Paste. There you go. These are all required fields. If I click submit, it's giving me the message that I need to fill out all the required fields. Notice in the email, it's giving an error here because email is not in the right format. Same goes for phone number. Once all the validations are complete, it gives me that notification. When the user hits submit, I would like to patch all this information over to my data source. Here I have a SharePoint list called event registration. So I would like to patch this information on successful validation, patch the data to my data source. My data source is the SharePoint list called event registration. Save name to title text column. So I'm being very specific. Email to email text column. Ask ChatGPT to give me the YAML for button only. The on select function code, simply just go ahead and copy this. Go to my submit button and replace that code. This leads to an error because I do not have the connection to event registration list in my app. So let's go ahead and do that. My app is done. Let's go ahead, submit this. The form is submitted. And here is the data that's got recorded in my SharePoint list. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.